Buster Murdoch, not the sole witness today. The defense called several other expert witnesses later in the day, in particular to talk about whether the person of Alex Murdoch's height could have fired the weapon. So how critical was all this testimony? Let's ask trial attorney Randy Zellin, who's been following the case closely, and Jesse Weber, anchor and host on the Law and Crime Network. Jesse, how important a witness was he? I'm a little underwhelmed. I mean, I think there were parts of it that actually helped the defense, right? It explained away some of the odd behavior and circumstances and suspicious things that Alec Murdoch did, but I don't think it's going to move the needle. I mean, one of the things that I talked to you about is I thought they were going to say, Buster, how much did your father love his wife? How much did he love your brother? Remember, during the opening, Dick Harpootlian said Paul was the apple of his eye, and none of that. And don't forget, they mentioned the they I video. What was the one thing they didn't ask Buster Murdoch about? The kennel video, the most important piece of evidence, the video evidence that suggests Alec Murdoch was at the crime scene. You know your father's voice so well. Is, is it his voice or not? Yeah, I, they didn't ask him about that. I was going to ask you about that, Randy, because it seems to me a big omission, right? Because that may be the single best piece of evidence that the prosecution has, is yeah. putting him at the scene mm -hmm. within minutes of the time that prosecutors believe that they were killed. So far, the defense has not presented much of a defense to that being his voice at the scene. And I think with good reason, because what do you do with that? Why would you highlight the one or a couple of things that the prosecution has done correctly when they've done about 800 things incorrectly. And I do believe the defense is hoping that it all gets lost. But I think to, to your point, Jesse, I've got to push back a little. The moment that that young man took the stand, that was reasonable doubt. Because what man, what young man, what son, what brother is going to take the stand if that man over there killed my mother, killed my brother. So underwhelming, I think that was brilliant because had he filled in every crack, to me that's what the prosecution's done wrong. Don't bother, just put him on and be a human being. And the moment that he raised his right hand, there's one juror in that box saying, this guy didn't kill. But one juror, every time I have a defense attorney on this show who's claiming to me that this is a terrible case, the mm -hmm. prosecution, they always talk about a hung jury. They, they talk about, oh, I'm gonna get it. One, yeah, I think, I think I agree that they could definitely get a hung jury. But it seems to me at this point, it's either hung jury or conviction, not hung jury or acquittal. I disagree. Yeah. I think it's a hung jury or, or an acquittal. But, but, but Randy, there, isn't there the pieces of evidence that how are the jury going to reconcile? I can it's mention lost. The, no, 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 but, but, but here's the thing, right? How do they get past the fact that he's driving at these high speeds? How do they get past the inconsistency? Because there's how 700 do, other things that have distracted them and that they, it, had the prosecution done this like law and order and focused in on the fact that, yeah, you went to the caretaker and tried to get her to change her story. Yeah, your voice is on the video when you you claim that you're not there. But, yeah, you didn't cry. It's game they, they over. Can, but they can focus on that and ignore the financial crimes if they don't want it's to. It's too late. They tried a great case to convict him of yeah. being a fraudster. Yeah, and I think that a lot of the defense attorneys, though, are focusing on this a little bit too much through a legal prism, right, which is the mistakes that were made, problems with the investigation, mm -hmm. inconsistencies in investigators' testimony, et cetera. But it's going to come down to the big picture. It's going to come down to, in the end, do the jurors think that he did it. I do think there's a real chance there'll be a hung jury. And how do you get there? The great trial lawyers, what do the great trial lawyers do? They tell a great story. Yeah. So who's going to tell the better story, the more convincing story? And at this point, the prosecution is just, they took spaghetti but, but what's and threw the it up against story? the wall. What's the defense's story, Randy, that who else would have done this? The two-shooter theory, someone connected to the boating accident? There's been no evidence. A five-foot-two than... drug dealer? <laughs> no, I mean, Listen, I, mean... I, 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 I wouldn't have dug that, but for the fact that, again, the pro you, know, you know what happens? I don't have any hair. And the more I play with it to, to try to make it look like I have yeah. hair, I make it worse. If I would just leave it alone, I'd be okay. That's what the prosecution should have done here. Focus in on those three, you think four, they could, five compelling Do you think the things. prosecution could have won this case? Yes. Well, with uh, the evidence they yes. have. See, I disagree. Yeah. Because, yes. again, I think the jury could put all that aside. The problem is, is, again, we do not have certain points that the prosecution would need to make their case, but there's just too much right now. I actually agree with you. I think that this could be a hung jury. I think it's almost impossible to convince 12 jurors yeah, here. I, I could talk to 12 people about yeah. this. They all have you different could have perspectives. You, you could have convicted him. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider.
And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.